here. For implementing DAO classes, from Sun we have support, simple JDBC support for implementing simple data access objects. Data access object main aim is what it need to interact with data machines. The data machine it can be RDBMS, RDBMS machine or it can be LDAP machines or it can be non-SQL or it can be XML machine whatever it is. It need to do persistence operations. Data access objects they need to do persistence operations here. They may interact with RDBMS machines. Sometimes they may interact with XML files. They may interact with XML files. Sometimes these machines they may interact with LDAP machines. Sometimes they may interact with no SQL machines. Whatever it is, finally they need to finally they need to access data from these repositories. It can be a database, it can be XML file or LDAP machine or non-SQL machine. Finally, DO need to serve what? DO need to serve to the business data. Whenever business want to persist to data or whenever business want to retrieve data, DO need to support here for this business to access data from XMLs or RDBMS or any lightweight LDAP machines or from non-SQL machines. The main aim of DO is simple data access operations here. Simple data access operations. It need to do here operations. That is the main aim of DAO. So to implement DAOs, from Sun we have JDBC. By using JDBC we can do simple data access operations. And to read data from XML file and to store data into XML file, we can go through parsers like JAXB, JAXP parsers. To interact with the database, we have ORM tools also here. Many ORM tools we have. EJB, JPA, Hibernet, IBATIS. We have many ORM tools. By using these ORM tools also we can access data from database. And to interact with non-SQL databases, we have OGM kind of tools to interact with non-SQL. To interact with non-SQL, OGM we have. To interact with databases, RDBMS machines. We have these ORM tools. By using JDBC also we can interact with RDBMS machines. To interact with XML files, we have these. In the same way, to interact with LDAP machines, some LDAP APIs we have. Anyways, the final goal, it need to talk with this machines and it need to retrieve or it need to have capabilities to store. And it need to help to our application to store data or to retrieve data. Here, it need to support to your business, DAO class, either to store data or to retrieve data from database. So for doing RDBMS operations here, Spring given support to us. For doing RDBMS operations, Spring also given support to us. So in Spring they given, again is this JDBC, they given Spring JDBC. By using Spring JDBC, by using Spring JDBC also you can interact with RDBMS machines. And here they given ORM support also, Spring ORM. By using this ORM also you can talk with RDBMS machines. But while before going to implementing by using JDBC or ORM or anything like XMLs, we need to follow some pattern here. We need to follow a pattern here to implement DAOs. Which pattern we should follow here? Interface implementation pattern we should follow. For implementing DAOs, we should follow interface implementation pattern. Why interface implementation pattern we should follow here? This data access technologies 
or data access tools like JDBC and ORM like Spring JDBC, Spring ORM these type of tools or technologies in market frequently we will get new technologies in case if your data access operations if you want to implement by using new technologies let's say if it is in JDBC in future if you want to move to any ORM or else any other new technology if you want to use geared if you go through direct implementation part the direct implementation part it may affect your business third party vendors they will not like they will not follow any sun standards right if it is sun api for sun api if they provide implementations they may follow sun api implementations without following any sun api implementations if they provide their own implementations hibernate is not a standard api from sun right it's a third party api so while before i mean while implementing by using hibernate here hibernate api methods you may need to use here hibernate it have its own methods like save update so these methods are not standard methods from sun right so here you may need to use any third party api to implement your do classes so by using any third part api if you are going to implement in do part this do part implementations should not affect your business so then without affecting your business if you want to implement your do part in future also if you want to provide like if you want to move to any other new technologies your do implementations i mean here your do implementations must they need to follow interface and implementation model interface and implementation model must we need to follow here we need to design first a DAO interface then next we need to provide implementation DAO interfaces and DAO implementations we have to provide so in that interface what we should provide all the required DAO standard methods we need to write an interface and then we have to provide implementations on implementation classes so that implementations can be simple JDBC implementations or EJB or Hibernate or anything So here, to implement a DAO part, before going to implementing DAO part, must we need to design a DAO interface and the DAO implementations you can, you can do by using, if it is a RDBMS mission by using simple JDBC or else by using simple ORMs or else by using Spring JDBC or else by using Spring ORM also you can provide implementations here. So first thing, we must need to provide a interface to our DAO. In Spring, we have dependency injection, right? So, by using the dependency injection, you can make your business and DAO layers loosely coupled. How? If you take a DAO interface here, if you take a DAO interface reference here, by using Spring IOC, you can create any DAO implementation object. You can create any DAO implementation object. That DAO implementation object, by using IOC, we can inject into interface references in future if you don't want that particular implementations you can change implementations to any other new technologies and that implementations also you can inject into your business any implementation object we can inject into interface references right so you can have any number of implementations here let's say if it is dao one implementation and if you have one more implementation dao2 dao1 object we can inject into this interface dao2 object also you can inject into this interface so without affecting your business if you want to change DAO part then DAO part must we need to use interface implementation model this is standard for DAOs not for businesses but in the, if you see real time enterprise applications for business also they will follow same pattern so for what if you change a business gear if you want to change your business that business should not affect your controller in the same way like how you are implementing DAO part here business part also we need to implement in case if your business if you want to change it should not affect your business part in case in future client if we give, give requirements like new use cases if you provide for that business so that new use cases if you are going to implement here that new use cases should not affect your controller part also so then for business also interface implementation model is recommended but it is mandatory for DAO part for DAO part interface implementation model is mandatory so before going to implementing by using any one of these tools must we need to design one interface then after we need to provide implementation it is mandatory okay if you are going to implementing spring applications if you get any requirement to implement DAOs before going to write your DAO classes 
first to create interface then next to provide implementation in interface what we need to write just a signatures just the required implementation method signatures we need to provide here then after we need to provide implementations on do implementation classes okay so if you have simple requirement on student table if you want to make CRUD operations like if you have a simple student table on simple student table if you want to make CRUD operations here if you have simple student table on RDBMS machine and if you have here student table with the student ID student name some email address if your student table number of parameters if those are four how to how to design DAO interface first in DAO interface all the required methods we must need to furnish first so first by designing DAO interface we must need to provide all the required implementation part methods under interface itself we need to provide all the implementation part methods signatures but before going to provide signatures if it is a JDBC or if it is XML this database can be anything it can be XML database it can be RDBMS database sometimes it can be ORM database also right your implementation parts may be JDBC part or by using parsers you may need to store or sometimes you may need to interact by using ORM tools so for any use case suitable DAO is with the model you need to implement your DAO class instead of without model with the model objects you need to design your DAOs models means simple Java bean classes in hibernate we have to create one bean object right the same bean objects you can create and you can use for JDBC and for this XMLs and you can use them for OGM and you can use them for JDBC and you can use them for spring ORM also so the master standard implementation of DAOs is by using model objects so first you better to create a model object here create a model object first in that model object we need to maintain same number of parameters id name email address along with getters and setters actual do pattern recommended thing is what we need to design an interface and we have to provide implementation while designing interface in interface we have to provide signature right in that signature which type of signature we need to write to do save operation which signature we required in DAO without model object if you if you go through this type of interfaces DAO interface or student DAO interface without model object if you are going to write signature scared we used to write like this like public int save and individual parameters we have to take here int id string name string email string address instead of taking this individual parameters here the recommended model is create a model object just take model input parameter here instead of taking individual parameters here if you take model object then the advantage with model object is what it is suitable for XML parsings and it is suitable for ORM, Hibernate ORM and you can use it for JDBC also. In case of JDBC also if you require any data, instead of taking this individual parameters here, while creating signature, here just to take one model object reference instead of taking all the parameters. And in case if you want to insert data into table by using JDBC, we know how to write JDBC queries. In that JDBC queries, just collect data from the student object and you can pass it into student table in case if it is ORM directly we can persist right in case of hibernate just we can pass that object reference into save method so you better to provide your signatures with the model objects while creating DAO interfaces so here for DAO interface you better to take model object references here so first you need to create model object how to create model object this model object structure and your table structure should be equal right so here how many number of parameters here we have the same number of parameters with more I mean here model object must it need to contain same number of properties along with these properties it can have something else also but that number of properties are mandatory in model object if you have four here you can have ten but that four properties must you need to maintain here 
okay model object it can have any number of implementations and any number of variables here but must it need to have this table number of properties and along with getters and setters in case of hibernate also it is not rule i mean uh, to maintain like same properties only model object you can maintain any number of properties in your model object you can have some business logic also here hibernate will not force us to put only four properties in model object okay you can have any number of properties but must we need to have table number of properties here in our model object so by using that model object you should call them model objects model object model object 